Um, well, it's a, you know, we had a, um, you know, it, 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 we, we had to play well. Um, you don't have to play perfect, um, but we had to play well. And we played well in spurts um, tonight and um, or this afternoon. And every time that, um, you know, that we, we had a, a spurt and played really well, um, to their credit, an experienced team, um, five seniors, uh, they, they responded well and then um, just made it tough um, to, to have that sustained uh, comeback to get, to get over the hump and actually take a lead. Um, and that's a credit, again, to, to their execution, to the players that they have um, experienced, uh, that you know, looks and feels um, you know, a lot like an, an, an NCAA tournament team and obviously been in the, in the Valley. They'll have an unbelievable opportunity to, to win that league. Um, I thought our guys played very hard um, today. We competed. Uh, we just didn't always play smart um, at times. Our ex execution uh, defensively and offensively just went into subtle little lapses and um, against a good team that they make you pay for those subtle lapses. And uh, the the threes that we gave up, uh, for sure, a couple off the offensive rebounds were momentum plays. And uh, we pride ourselves in being able to take away um, the three-point shot. And we didn't do a good job tonight. We, we uh, had an opportunity we wanted to hold them. Uh, to four threes and they got they got eight and uh, it, it proved to be uh, the difference in the game but uh, both teams played really hard uh, it's a great I, I'm very thankful that we have um, this four four year series um, for for the city for our fans when when COVID ends uh, but I disappointed really disappointed in our loss uh, we, we left left some points uh, out there on the defensive end as well as the offensive end but we'll get better and grow and we're going to use this as a, uh, a stepping stone to uh, to, to the conference season. Earlier this morning, uh, news came out of the passing of former UIC head coach Jimmy Collins. As someone who grew up in the Chicagoland area, has been in this game and in your brief time at UIC, just touch a little bit on, on, on Jimmy as a coach and as a person and your interactions that you've had, albeit small. Yeah, they, they have, they, they were small. Um, but um, I, I know that from the, all of the former players um, that, have reached out to me um, and have sent me messages um, about Jimmy and that when I, when I first got the job uh, talking about that time period in, in programs history um, and then talking to the assistant coaches that uh, that were a part of those years as well um, you know it is a, a huge loss for the UIC community um, and a hu huge loss uh, for the basketball community and our, our, our thoughts and prayers obviously from all of our all the people within the UIC uh, at, at large and then within our basketball program um, go out to him. I mean, he, he was a mentor, um, a life changer, um, a game changer, and somebody that worked uh, relentlessly for, for the betterment of young people, which is what teaching and coaching is all about. So, um, you know, he's the, uh, again, the at, at the top of um, the, the list at, at, at UIC and everything that uh, our basketball program, again, aspires to be um, as a winner and a leader and um, a molder of young men. So uh, again, I, I can't say enough. I'm glad what we've been able to do on the court um, to honor um, Coach Collins and then obviously to uh, have the opportunity um, you know, to be in this program that he really uh, helped build up, build up is something that we want to get back to um, and, and do that in his honor. For the first time in over a year, we got to see Rob Howard out on, out on the court, drill the three. His first possession ended up with 11 points. Just yes. what, what can Rob do for this team, and what, what does he bring on the court, and how can, we factor, how can you factor him into the offense moving forward? Well, I mean, it's, uh, it was, he's amazing. I mean, Rob is a competitor. Uh, even when he wasn't playing, he's the guy in the huddle in the locker room that's, uh, that's getting everybody jacked up. He's up on the sideline. Coach Derman and um, – and Jenny Wilms, our, our athletic trainer, did an unbelievable job getting him back. And then on top of that, he did an unbelievable job getting himself back. He was running um, through, through the broken hand. He was running and working out um, and was mentally ready to go today. And we've seen that uh, from the time we started working out on July 20th. Um, Rob's, Rob's been, been a guy that uh, can go out and, uh, and make a bunch of threes in practice. Um, he plays hard and he plays physical and he's tough. So I'm so happy for Rob because that this moment that he had today um, is two years in the making, and there's not a better kid, um, like a team guy, that you want to have that moment. And obviously, we wish we would have won the game, uh, but Rob uh, put himself in position mentally and physically, 
and the people around him that helped him get get uh, ready. It, it, he did it on the on the court today, and we're, we're looking forward to having him in the rotation, obviously, um, and then just giving a, a different dynamic to our team. So we're we're evolving. We um, as a as a team, we we've had uh, basically Maurice Commander and Rob Howard have practiced together um, two times, and uh, the last two basically two days, and Rob's uh, on practice number three uh, as a as a group. So. It's uh, it, this is a team I'm really excited about. I love our group. Uh, we've got some little areas that we have to clean up and practice. Our habits and practice have got to get better um, in certain areas, and uh, we have a chance to get better. But Rob is uh, he's a leader in practice. He wants to win, um, and he's a competitor. So really excited uh, for him. Final question: You talked about those little things in practice that you're looking to fix as you as you close the book on non-conference play and turn your attention now to the start of Horizon League action. What's the message to this team as, as you start uh, Horizon League play? That uh, the, the little things, we talk about discipline and toughness um, is going to be two hallmarks of our program. And um, those, those things are, th th there's instances of those two things that, uh, that have to be corrected and um, in a diligent manner and in an intentional manner. And when we uh, combine... Uh, the diligence, the toughness, and um, you know, the accountability uh, to the scouting report and to the execution uh, offensively, we'll, um, we're, we're going we're gonna to do some good things, and we have a chance to be a good team. That, that's, that's the message, but you, you can't have these uh, five and six uh, possession lapses or five to six minute sessions where things kind of go um, awry and that you can't pull them back together. So we'll correct those and, and learn from it. It's a group that's hungry and learning how to play together. It's this is the first week that we've had our, our top eight or nine guys be able to practice all together. So I'm excited, really excited about the group. I love our guys, and uh, they're done with finals now. I've really knocked that out. So really excited about uh, moving forward.